I didn't believe him at first. I mean, who would? You know, who wants to believe that your dad is capable of killing someone? Especially your best friend. Yeah, Dave, David is my best friend. Uh, you've probably seen him around. I mean, you would know if you did. He's pretty popular. All the girls think he's hot. The dude never fails. It's kind of sickening, really. Uh, need somebody to herd some sheep? David, your man. You, uh, you got some animals you need somebody to kill with their bare hands? He'll take care of it. Harp player? Think Jimi Hendrix, only vertical strings. Got a giant you need taken care of? It's no problem. You would think that, you know, he'd be a jerk, but he's not. He's really cool. He's the kind of friend that's more like a brother, you know? Yeah, David is definitely my best friend. My name is Jonathan. My dad is the king, King Saul. Uh, don't, don't hate me because I'm the prince. It's not all it's cracked up to be, okay? Um, for instance, my dad pays people to follow me around all the time. I mean, there's a, there, there are a lot of people around, but usually they just want something from you. It's hard to find good friends. I mean, nobody really knows me, except for David, which I think is why it was so hard for me to believe what he was saying. But I, I guess it all started when Samuel, the priest, uh, he said that God had chosen somebody else to be king. Then Samuel anoints David and says that he's going to be the next king. Then David kills Goliath. And my dad makes David the head over all of his military. David wins all of these battles. And then everybody starts saying that they want David to be the next king and not me. So my dad's pretty bent out of shape about this. I mean, I talked to him about it. Now, I pointed out that David had not actually done anything wrong. He seemed to understand. I mean, he said everything was, was cool, that he was over it, that there was nothing wrong between him and David. Look, look, I know what it looks like, but trust me, I would not do anything to hurt David. He is my friend. Friends are friends. They're loyal. And that means something. Look, I tried to tell him that he was getting worked up over nothing. I mean, my, my dad tells me, everything and he didn't share any plans with me about wanting to axe my best friend and David told me that's probably not a plan that my dad would share with me which made sense he told me that my dad had been acting strange for a while that he'd been throwing spears at him and that's when I could tell that he was really serious so I wanted to know if there was anything I could do to help. David reminded me that my dad was going to be throwing a party the next day, and he told me that he wasn't going to show up. What he wanted me to do was watch my dad's reaction. If nothing happened, that meant everything was cool. But, you know, if my dad got angry, then that meant that there were some serious problems. So the, the party started uh, at first, it didn't seem to matter that David wasn't there, but then after a while my dad asked me where David was at, and I, I said he had a family issue come up and that he wasn't going to be coming. And my dad lost it. I mean, he started screaming. He, he told me he wanted me to bring David to the party so that he could kill him. I mean, I was, I was crushed. I mean, this is my dad. He even threw a spear at me. He tried to kill me, his own son. So, I, I mean, I had told David to go hide, to go somewhere where my dad couldn't find him. 
I don't know how this is going to end. I may, I may never see David again. But as we were saying goodbye, David reminded me that friends are loyal no matter what, and nothing is going to change that. I mean, this has cost me a lot. I lost my best friend. My dad has gone crazy. I probably won't ever be the king now. I'm, I might even lose my life. But I'd do it again. I would do it again, no doubt about it. Friends are loyal. And that means something. My name is Jonathan, and that's my story. <laughs>